Okay, so this is the Queen Bot. I'm almost done with my top of tip today. I'm very happy to get through this set. <laughs> this set of topics, current updated topics, as well as how it impacts me, as well as other people that I'm with. Okay, so I'm the Queen Battle, by the First Aid Responder Services, first aid nonprofit here in the city of Boston, certified medical assistant, adult and pediatric first aid. Uh, for American Heart Association, as well as volunteer for the American Red Cross for our military services uh, overseas, as well as a former, um, a former veteran of the United States Army Reserves in Texas in 2003-2004, three years after the attacks on 9/11 in the World Trade Center in New York. So, very happy to be here today. I'm also a published author on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so, all right. I'm almost over my topics of today. Very happy for Northeastern University hosting me today, and hopefully, I will get out to the public and let you guys have a community discussion about some of the events I'm going to. Okay, as well as how it applies to young people today. Okay, so it's 8:03 here on the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time in the United States of America. Very happy to be here. Shout out to all my military uh, military veterans and current uh, current people overseas and through the humanitarian crisis and war conflict. We're not in a war yet, declared war, but we're in a conflict with the Taliban in the country of Afghanistan, as well as all other military conflicts that we're going through right now, that the, that the, the United States is going through right now. So shout out to all my military uh, service members who are serving overseas right now. So pretty much, I want to talk about Calvary Cathedral International. So, Calvary Cathedral International in Fort Worth, Texas, downtown Fort Worth, Texas, was one of the best um, experiences that I had growing up as a young girl. As a black young girl, I was involved in sports, I was involved in help me be able to learn how to write, develop reading, I studied Latin, I studied grammar, I studied religion, I, I accepted God into my life, I went to Bible school there, my dad went to Bible school there, he was a security guard there, I had lots of friends, I still have friends today that are involved in the church, and that is pretty much where I had a lot of my childhood, as well as a lot of my upbringing from Calvary Cathedral International. Okay, so um, Calvary was a wonderful church that I had the opportunity to be involved with. Unfortunately, as of 2021, the church has closed down. How much? Huh? About 10 minutes? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so Calvary Cathedral was one of the best churches that I had the influence to be involved a part of. It was a great experience, and unfortunately, the, the church closed its doors down in 2020 last year because they sold the church, or the church closed down over to the Mercy Church culture in Fort Worth, Texas. And unfortunately, one of my friends, my classmates from the uh, pastor's grandson, Robbie Fast Foster, was not able to carry on the mission of his grandfather's church, Bob Nichols. So that is, I had the experience to be positively motivated and involved through growing through Calvary Cathedral International. So it was a great experience for me to have had the honor of being involved with ministries like Joyce Meyer, Tim Story, Rodney Howard Brown, uh, Ron Cannoli, uh, John Hall. Um, uh, uh, there's so many ministries. Marilyn Hickey. Um, there's so many ministries that have had the honor of being involved with through the doors of Calvary Cathedral International. So it was a wonderful opportunity. Unfortunately, my church had to close down its doors. Okay, had to close down the mission of the church. So it was a great opportunity. And in fact, I wanted to be more emotionally involved with it and to deal with it on a different level. Okay. The church had over thousands, uh, over maybe one to two thousand members in that church. It survived about 20, 30, 40 year ministry. Great prison worship, great leadership. But again, I wanted to eventually, hopefully, had the honor, the, the pastor's grandson, to be able to carry on the banner of that ministry. Okay. 
the banner of that ministry. Okay, it had a lot to do with emotionally as well as spiritually to have had the experience of dealing with such a huge impact. Even though it was a private school, even though it was predominantly white ministry white church it still was an honor to be able to serve and to be fulfilled through the doors of the mission of that ministry as well as everybody else involved okay so it had a positive impact on me and I wanted to do as much more to be involved through Calvary as well as to do what was needed to be done Okay, so it was an honor to serve in Calvary as well as to be emotionally involved, but I feel like as of right now that I've lost a lot of the friends and I've lost a lot of connection that Calvary had. That Calvary had. Okay, so it is a lot. It is a lot. So I'm grateful for... Uh, Pastor Bob and Joy Nichols, as well as everybody else that has had the honor to touch through the doors of Calvary Cathedral International. Great ministry, great involvement, doing whatever I can to be necessary in order to help just to be a member of this wonderful ministry. So this is Laqueen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services. I love you guys. Please continue to support our military friends and veterans overseas and who are currently serving in wars here in the United States and beyond. Love you guys.